Hello, my name's Barry Milburn. I'm a director of Prism Design. We specialise in titanium jewellery and one of the things we're particularly good at is the colouring of titanium. Today I'm going to show you how you, we make a pendant which is a, a peacock feather pendant. It's anodised and it's the anodising process which produces the colours. The first part of the process is to um, etch the material and what we're doing is we're taking off tiny, tiny, microscopically thin surface oxide which forms on titanium as soon as it's exposed to oxygen. And this is a means of preparing the surface ready for the colouring process later on in the, in, in the stage stages that we go through. So after completing the etching process, the piece is flushed in water just to make sure it's perfectly clean. And then dried with a tissue or by heat. So, a nice clean perfect surface, pre-etched, untouched by hand, so it's ready for the next stage which is to apply the pattern of the uh, feather which we do with a laser engraving machine. Uh, we're in the office now which is where the laser engraving unit lives. Having chosen the pattern from the software catalogue, this is the pattern that we're going to reproduce on the pendant. This is the laser engraving machine. The pendant is inside on a flat surface, centered so that the pattern will be reproduced in exactly the right position. This process takes approximately 10 minutes. So that's the engraving complete. The pattern has reproduced exactly the pattern shown on the screen. We keep a catalogue of all of the patterns that we use on different designs. The laser produces a, in this case, a black line, which will, as you'll see later on, not allow the colour to pass from one side of the line to the other. That's a very important part of this process. It's a masking technique that we use to achieve the colouring. So I'm going to take this down to the workshop next and we'll put a bit of shape into it, add the fitting and then prepare it for the final colouring process. Okay, we're in the workshop. Um, we just want to give the uh, pendant a little bit shape. Um, so we're going to, we're going to dome it lightly it's important that we don't damage the surface at this stage because it's been prepared already. So this is a very simple press and I'm pre pressing it into a polyurethane rubber which will give a gentle squeezing action. There we are, very simple, it's just a simple dome. The next stage is to add the fitting to the back so that it becomes a pendant and will fit on the chain. This stage involves placing a ring on the back of the pendant and in order to do that we'll use a laser welding machine. There we are. Fairly quick process. Um, the weld welder sends a pulse to the surface and melts a very specific section of the surface under a gas shielded atmosphere which is perfect for titanium so you get a very strong weld. 
So that's now ready for colouring. What we will be doing now is applying a voltage through the liquid to the metal. The voltage and the colour we achieve are in direct relationship to one another so I can predict precisely what colour I'm going to get at a certain voltage. In this instance we're going to apply a shaded background to the pendant prior to using a uh, brush in order to send an electric current to specific parts of the feather which is the next stage. So I'm beginning to turn the voltage up, there's a certain amount of uh, bubbles formed near the surface. I'll just take it out there so you can see the colour forming. What I'd like to achieve is a purple to kingfisher blue shade. Okay, there we are. Turn the voltage off and flush that in water. And I'll dry that in a clean tissue so you can see it. Again, it's very important to um, keep the material very clean during this stage as we haven't finished anodizing and any imperfections on the surface will affect the colour that we can achieve. So that's the pendant prior to putting on the detail on the feather. Okay, we're now ready to um, use the pen or brush. We're sending an electric current through the fibre tip onto the metal and uh, the colour will change as I change the voltage and I can literally paint what looks like painting the colour onto the surface. Remember it's not what's happening, I'm simply thickening up the oxide layer. Okay, let's make a start. As I mentioned earlier, the um, pattern edge produced by the laser engraving machine acts as a barrier from one colour to another. So I'm able to work within the line and apply the colour just to that area. Remember it's the fluid which is which contains the electricity as it were and it's the fluid that's passing the voltage and causing the surface to change. So I just gradually build it up there Let's turn it round. I'm keeping the piece in contact with this metal sheet which is what's making my contact. It's working from the outer edges of the feather to the inside. Let's get a bit more liquid. then finishing off to smooth everything so it all blends in. Okay, I'm just going to turn the voltage up and apply slightly lighter green to this top edge just to make it a bit more dramatic.
as you can see it's a very hands-on process okay lovely I'm going to switch to a different pen now which has a narrower tip and just do the colour in the centre there see there's a little bit of steam vapour coming off the piece that's just the fact that the surface is heating up where the voltage is being applied there we are I will just flush that in water and clean it and show it to you again so there we have it uh, that's been anodized all over in a shade and then anodized specifically with a fiber pen with the voltage running through it specifically on the um, feather. We like to give the piece just a final lift and in order to do that we're going to go into the polishing room and just highlight the edge by taking some of the color away. Okay, so in the polishing room we're going to use a fiber mop to remove the oxide layer and the colour just around the outside edge which gives it a nice soft look. As you can see that just has the effect of raising the profile of the piece slightly, just gives it another dimension.